Hey, so welcome to our Halloween special. This is Kamaya Newcomb with Dream Home in Arizona, uh, along with my mother, Kathy. She's in the background here. So we're doing a special for Halloween over, we're gonna be going over selling or buying a stigmatized house. So selling a stigmatized property can be very challenging for both the seller and the real estate agent that's trying to sell. Stigmatized properties typically sit on the market a little bit longer and sell for a little bit less. Sellers need to be realistic about their chances of selling and prepare to sell at a lower price. But first, let's talk about what is a stigmatized property? Well, it could be just about anything, really. It could be a home that has some criminal activity in the past. It could be a home that has some even rumors in the neighborhood that something happened. It could be a home that someone has passed away in. It could be even a home that has paranormal activity. Spooky. So that's why, of course, this is our Halloween special. But let's go over some of the stigmatized criteria. So why would a home be considered stigmatized? A stigmatized property is a home that may be displeasing to buyers for other reasons besides its physical conditions. In many states, it's not mandatory to disclose a stigma like the M word or the S word or the D word. I can't really say them because then YouTube will pull my video. But what we're really talking about is something bad that's happened inside the house. You can check out a real estate attorney in your state for the rules, of course. Per the National Association of Realtors, a stigmatized property is a property that has been psychologically impacted by an event which occurred or was suspected to have occurred on the property. However, despite the occurrence, the event attached to the stigmatized property have no physical impact on the home. It's just something could be as bad as just a rumor that something happened on the home. But how do you sell a house that has a stigmatized? Well, first of all, you have to see what the stigma is. When a house goes on the market, nearly all states require the seller to fill out a disclosure form reporting any structural problems, environmental, toxin, or other material facts that could affect the value of the home. But that doesn't go for ghouls and ghosts. According to a state-by-state -state analysis done by Zillow, there are no states that require home sellers to voluntarily disclose alleged ghostly activity on the property before a sale. In fact, only Minnesota even mentions hauntings in the disclosure law, which frees sellers from having to disclose any non-material facts, including if the home was the site of a perceived paranormal activity spooky so when you buy a house and something funny is happening i guess you're just out of luck so if you're on the market and you're looking to sell your home that might be perceived as stigmatized due to paranormal activity i've actually showed a couple houses that were haunted turns out one was electrical issue we found that and had it fixed and the other one was just the house settling, so it made noises. Sometimes people just get so wrapped up in this paranormal activity that they look for any reason why the house is making. So in a nutshell, do you have to disclose if a home is haunted? No, you don't. Is the home probably haunted? Unfortunately, nine times out of 10, no, they're not. There is some cases that there are some paranormal activity. I've even lived in a house that has some paranormal activity. I'm sure it can be explained away scientifically, but I sure as heck ain't going back to that house to find out either. So is there paranormal activity? Is there not paranormal activity? Sometimes it's just really hard to tell. If you are looking to buy or sell a home, even on today's market, it doesn't have to be so scary. Give me a call. Let's go over everything together. Go over a marketing plan if you're selling your home and go over what it's gonna take to get your home ready 
for the buyer. And if you are buying a home, even on today's market, that doesn't have to be scary either. So give me a call. Either way, I can help you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can get all of the great tips and tricks that I'm going to be posting on Tuesdays and a video on Thursday. Hope you guys have a great Halloween. And by the way, it's my birthday tomorrow. Hope you guys have a good one. See you on the flip.